Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So basically, what I like to do is show you how to solve this proportion. Um, and one of the more common things is, you know, applying cross multiplication. But um, I was working with a student today, and uh, we were actually working on just multiplying fractions. And of course, what mistake does the student want to do? They want to apply cross multiplication. Well, it's very, very important that not only do we understand why and when we use cross multiplication, but when and why we don't use cross multiplication. So yes, you can apply cross multiplication. But basically, what I want you to understand is why are we using it? And why, you know, why does it work? And basically, you don't even need to think about cross multiplication. Because if you wanted to get rid of these fractions, which we have 5 and 7, what I told the student is when you want to get rid of fractions in an equation or anything else, multiply by the LCD, the least common denominator. And you can see the least common denominator for both of these is 35. So I multiply by 35 on both sides. And when I have, multiply by 35, what I get is 7 over 1. And here I get 5 over 1, which would have been the exact same thing is if I would have circled these, it would have been 5 times 2x plus 7. Now I have 5 times 2x plus 7, right? And 7 times 4x plus 5. So I'll rewrite it, but I want you guys to understand that it's the exact same thing as doing cross multiplication. So cross multiplication is kind of like, um, kind of like one of those sh you know, shortcuts. Not really shortcut, but just a really shortcut of saying, oh, well, this is what you're going to be. This is the operation you're doing anyways. But multiplying by the LCD gives you kind of the reason of why we're doing that. So now I just distributed, apply distributive property here. 7 times 4x is 28x. 7 times 5 is positive 35 equals 5 times 2x is 10x. 5 times 7 is positive 35. OK? Then I go ahead and solve. So I subtract 35, subtract 35. I have 28x is equal to, so that divides on both sides. Um, so now I'm left 28x equals 10x, subtract 10x, subtract 10x. I have 18x equals 0, divide by 18, divide by 18, x is equal to 0. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve your proportion by multiplying by your LCD. Thanks.